This is a huge story in Italy. The family of this man have been waiting nearly 10 years to figure out what happened to him. He's 31-year-old Stefano Cucche, an Italian building surveyor. Uh, he was uh, charged in 2009 and arrested for minor uh, drug charges, and he was found dead in police custody a week later. And when he was found, he weighed just 37 kilograms. And the medical report showed that he had a fractured jaw, that he had a bleeding bladder, two spine fractures, multiple chest injuries. And so for nearly 10 years, his family have been trying to figure out what happened to him in that week. And his sister has been leading the, the charge, his sister pictured here. Well, the prosecutor yesterday said that an officer on the stand in this trial accused two other officers of beating Stefano. This is a huge breakthrough, something the family has been waiting a decade for. So in light of that, his sister, Laria, tweeting this out and saying here that now we know and there will be many who have to apologize to Stefano and the family and saying that the wall of silence has been knocked down. Um, this is such a big story that actually there is a Netflix film that was recently released about Stefano called Sulla Mia Pele and thousands of Italians went to illegal public screaming, uh, screenings of this film. But it's not just everyday people who are speaking out, but also Italy's interior minister, Matteo Salvini, who said here that crimes or mistakes must be punished, but also said on the other hand that he does believe in the professionalism, the daily professionalism of those in uniform. And we're learning that Salvini has actually invited the Kuke family um, to the Italian ministry. This is a case that is still developing, but this is huge news for family that's been waiting so long for information, for, for news on what happened. And they said in this other tweet here, now let's see if the Kuke family can have a little justice. Uh, the trial is still uh, going on right now. And important to note as well that there was a first trial in 2014 in which um, guards, uh, the prison guards, were found not guilty. Uh, so this is a second trial that is currently taking place.